Hi, everybody. This is Joanna. Thank you so much for tuning in. What a gorgeous day. And we wanted to do more on the, um, we wanted to do more on the human storytelling and how it's a profound tool to heal all that we are um, in the reflection of one another. And it's really, really exciting because um, um, I got again to the core of one of my um, one of my stories that I've been telling myself since um, I was a young child. And um, I've told it here and there, um, you know, over the many years about um, kind of losing myself in others' stories of me um, and how we often do that because we live in a world of conformity. <laughs> That's essentially why we're here. This is the planet of separation. And through separation, meaning that we're not in full honoring and acceptance of who we are. Um, it's it's the, the, the ride of ascension. Every time you peel back another layer of what you were told, what you were taught, what you thought you were, you would get to return to who really am I? What do I exist within and what exists within me? That you are the creator of your reality that is unfolding based on your new knowing truth of who you are. Um, but when we, as that story we, we showed the other day about this perfect, beautiful, golden sphere that's placed in all of these little boxes, boxes meaning the womb and the womb has its preordained beliefs and notions and energies of itself and and the world and and that being of perfection gets then transformed by the womb and by the energies of the womb then the energies of the father and the house and the the community and the dogma and so on and so forth and what we're really returning to which is humanity's most profound experience is love is the story of originality and each person being the original truth of who they are with source the story of who each of us are with source is our own unique song the more that each and every one of us return to that original um, essence of who we are as source we tell our original story we become the originality of who we are we become the beauty of who we are as spirit our harmonic song within the planet begins to change our harmonics the vibrational song of who we are light because light is a song light is a harmonic we alter all of creation which alters everything. It alters the, um, the lineage it offers. It alters the grids. It alters the life on our planet. It alters the authenticity of our hearts with one another. It alters everything. And so part of my, um, part of my exploration this morning was um, the last couple of days um, in, in just various things that have been happening around the house and the, the, the synchronicities, um, especially my, my children always bring those representations of truth to me. And they were talking about conformity in schools. And back in the olden days, you know, I told them um, a story from way back when and how, you know, in the early days, they were, um, some of the teachers used to bang your, your, your hand with a little ruler, um, you know, to try and make you stop writing left-handed if you were a left-handed person, which I am. <laughs> and, um, and green eyes, left-handed green eyes. <laughs> and um, in my family, both of my sisters are blonde and I was the only one with dark hair. And, um, and so I was always kind of the, you know, uh, the literal black sheep of the family, if you will. Um, and that had followed me through my whole life. But those were the stories that I came to transcend as the, the bigger, grander version of who I am as my original essence. But throughout my life of these originality, the story of originality, um, and it goes far deeper than that. It's a multidimensional perspective and it's a multidimensional um, offering because each and every one of us come with multidimensional infinite layers of who we are. As we harmonize in the allness of who we are, and we're calling in those original aspects of who we are, the conformity and the density of our 3D world is changing and everything is falling away. The boxes of our 3D reality have gone. They're, they're gone now. Those that continue to live in a 3D routine are still living in the same story that they're telling themselves that they're no different than they were the day before. Because we tell our body, we tell our reality who we are every day. It's up to us to entrain ourselves to be higher vibrational, to, to be the healing of our own, of our own um, energy bodies, of our own skin, of our own energies, our own chakras, and clear them out and being the master of who we are as source. Um, and our bodies take shape of that. Our cells take shape of that. Our, our reality takes commandment of that as thy name is. I return to the originality of who I am as source. But when we look back through our life and we, we see the little synchronicities that um, the minutia of our everyday life, they always return us back to the smaller version story of where those wounds became, where they came from. One of my original stories was um, succumbing to the greatness of who I am. The vibration of my original story is very great. And there was always an underlying notion throughout my whole life that I knew that I was here for very dynamic 
social global reasons to bring back the sacredness of God's originality. And why I've always been very forthright in, in honoring of all of our religious um, 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 processes, if you will, but to allow the infusion of the highest potentiation of who we are as Metatronic beyond what dogma has dictated from limited men's translations. Because the perfection of God um, and the ev evolution of God, the evolution of life, the evolution of all that is in creation would never stifle anyone to any sect of behaviors and beingness. And that's where we limit our evolution. That's where so many mental and emotional and spiritual imbalances occur. When the spirit is conformed to something it's not meant to be in, it warps the spirit. And those are the words directly from spirit, directly from the Pleiadians that were channeling me as well as obviously the Christ consciousness because that's the vibration I walk with. The sacred text of the Christ consciousness is not to fit into any one pattern of belief because that's not why we offer what we offer. We offer what we offer as the potentiation of the highest human experience as light. And how can we transform out of systems and, and paradigms that no longer suit? And for each and every one of us, where do these limitations and stories begin? They begin through everything, right from the moment that you're born. Before you're born, you're incepted into this program of energy. What program of energy your parents come with, you chose so you can transcend them from here on out. And so part of mine was the limited story that I took on because the greatness and the grandness of who I was, the originality of source was far beyond A, what my parents were comfortable with and had no idea how to nourish me and support me. And so they chose to conform me into whatever they knew as normal and conformed because they didn't want me to perhaps live in an experience that was not um, what they would, um, would be able to handle, you know, if I got bullied, which I eventually got bullied anyway. So, <laughs> you know, the, the limitation of conformity, you must, you know, be like everybody else, otherwise you're gonna get teased. Well, I got teased anyway, so I may as well just be me, <laughs> you know. Um, but the parents do the best they do because they're coming from their limited stories and their limited damaging and wounding from the stories that they were fed. Every single aspect of purity and perfection is deposited on this earth. We say deposited in the meaning that we want you to understand the, the perfection of the flow and the perfection of source. It is, it is an insertion into a grand, beautiful song, the source song, song of all that is. These notes are deposited with the highest level of love and per perfection. They're a creation of inception. They're a creation of inspiration. It's a deposit of love, perfection in and of itself. Every life, every life, every life, the smallest to the biggest to the grandest, however we define things in limiting terms, because it does not matter. It is all a perfect song of who we are. We then become the stories of everything around us, the stories of the stories of the stories of the stories. We become the stories of our social, stories of school, the stories of dogma, and all the stories of our relatives. And then, without knowing and ever being taught that when we return to self of who we are, if we're taught this at the various earliest ages, then we don't go through a life of trying to figure out who we are and the life of the dramas and the life of inner child wounding. We become knowing right from day one, right from birth, that you are a unique story and you are the originator of God's perfection. You choose to be exactly who you are. And as we choose to live in those moments of perfection, those songs of divine perfection, that child then knows from itself not to look outside of itself for its own perfection. The song of itself, the source. To always return within and say, what is my song of source? I'm going to call in a greater song now, source, because I've learned from those lessons. I've been a part of that song. Now I want to go to this song. Story, song, it's all a metaphor. It is the harmonic of light. So it is truly, literally a song. The song that you play, the, the, the creational vibration that you are to source is known throughout all creation because you are connected and linked with the greater song of who you are. As you tear away all of these limitations about the lower vibrational songs, we say lower because it's a tone, it's a vibration. The faster you oscillate, the higher your pitch is. Song, it is all a song. We say lower and, and higher, again, there is no quantitative or qualitative experience for this. We say qualitative, yes, because it actually carries greater light. But it's not meant as less than or greater than, it's not. Those are just the words that 3D uses for how we define things, and that's why we, we only say what we say before and after so that we understand. We're talking about the harmonic song of who you are. When you are a higher vibrational harmonic song, carrying greater light, you call in an infinite potential of who you are at that light. 
If you're in the dense experience of who you have told you were, thought you were, conformed you were, following and being inserted into everyone else's story, not living within who you are as the unique song of source, your perfection as source, then you're only calling in a very limited experience because you're not saying this is who I am. I'm opening up to a grander song. But that, that's the inner work that's got to be done. You've got to release all of the lies and the illusions and the withholdings from all others who told you what they thought they were because that was based on them as truth. It was based on their truth, not yours. Your perfection and your song of who you are is your truth. Your dynamic truth of who you are as source. Your song is who you are as source without the um, misappropriation or the illusions or the withholding of what others thought you wanted, what others wanted you to be, projected you to be, not greater than, um, um, not fitting into the story that they wanted you to be or whatever it might be to control outcomes, to control versions of stories that they wanted to experience you in. And that's when you, you awaken one day and you say, well, that's not my story anymore. This is my new story. This is my song. My song is a greater song because I want to level up with God in a greater way. This is my new song. And it's great. It's really profound. I get to accept that and own it now. So part of my experience was that when I was really little and, and in various times, um, throughout my awakening, I'd always wondered and asked my teams, you know, why don't I remember things before the age of five um, in a way that I, I can remember other things, you know, different lifetimes in, you know, ancient Lemuria. <laughs> why can't I remember when I was four? <laughs> and it was a part of the, um, you know, the deep soul wounding that I had with regards to my acceptance of who I am, the grandness and the greatness of who I am. And I was, I was looking back and why I had attracted um, all the, the, the soul song that I had carried was attracting those that had various um, arrays of levels of deceit and illusion and withholding of, of, of truth and information, withholding of, of money, withholding of information, withholding of certain variances of truth. And why I attracted that into my experience, whether it be through professors or, you know, professors thinking that they know truth and they just say what they say just so that they don't have to keep talking with you. <laughs> because they don't want to explore any other type of truth because it's just their truth because that's what they learned. Um, and whether it's dogma, you know, this is the way it's always been taught. These are from the most sacred texts and we're just going to keep regurgitating information since the beginning of time, regardless of how limited it is and how limiting it makes other people feel and how, 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 how we are boxed within behaving in certain ways to be accepted in a, into a community that is godly and, and all is God and all is source and all is free to be liberated in their own self-expression. Um, as as their um, um, the, the the respecting and the benevolence of all that is life, which again, when we look at the concepts of God's of of God source creator and everyone's version of God is their own truth and it's true for them, but when we look at the unconditionality of source creator, when we look at the unconditionality of source in creation, the respect and the benevolence of all life. Well, if we are aligning with five D grids, if we are aligning with the highest Christic element of who we are as light honoring of all life and all galaxies and all of the universe, the law of one, that law of one is the foundation of everything that we have on earth here. And so how is it of a human design to say that our religion will be this, our religion will be that, and it's got to fit within these kind confines, which is absolutely separating one from one another because we have to behave in a certain way to be accepted. We have to be, we have to be of a certain sexuality to be accepted and to be, you know, accepted into a community of light. And that, that, that goes against the very concept of the law of one. The law of one is the law of one. Each soul is brought here to experience all that they are in every way. So who are we to say that we're going against the law of one and we're saying that this is who we are and that certain people can only be accepted and certain people can't. It's still a part of the human creation. We, we must go through these experiences to say, I want to be free in the law of one. I want to know that my life and my story will be respected, that my song will be respected as I am, because I do that for others. And so to, to tear down these, 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 these boundaries that are disseminating now, to say that, okay, well, why have we eliminated certain people in our culture? Because it went against sacred ancient texts, apparently, but sacredness is the law of one, that all are accepted for who they are as the creation of God. Who are we as humans to say you're not accepted? God accepts all, all, all. There's none of God's creation that says it's letting less than. All of source creator, all of spirit, all that is in creation is the perfection of the song. And it's up to us to live that purely through our own unique truth. Not to pick up this truth as your truth. You seek your truth within who you are with source. 
but these have been some of my musings as to understanding higher vibrational spiritual oneness and laws and saying, well, how have we delineated ourselves? How have we separated and devalued ourselves? And how can we return to something that is in alignment of love and oneness? So part of my unique story was the smallness that I had accepted from people's uncomfortable and disillusionment and insecurities because they were not comfortable with the level of light that I carried and my uniqueness, my spiritual, my spiritual genius, as they, they have offered me, which I don't say those things with, I don't say those things with, with, I don't say those things with a, with a, um, with a brazen heart, <laughs> you know, those that know me know, know that I'm, I am, I am, I, I am more humble and help, been holding myself back for so very long because of my humbleness, because of my, my smallness, <laughs> you know, my, my imposter syndrome and those that have been following us for many years and spirit is the only one that I have to atone with. And spirit has been pushing me and pushing me and pushing me to become the greatness of who I am. And when you get those layers removed from you of all the smaller versions of the stories that you inserted yourself within, because that's what you had to experience to know the greatness of you. And so these are the human storytelling that we often go through. The more illusions that you tell yourself, the more illusions that you navigate in density is the greater grandness of your soul. Because you wouldn't go through those delineations of separatism. You wouldn't go through those experiences of grand limitation and harsh reality unless your soul was big enough to carry it and pop out the other side. That's what ascension is all about. So you think you go through great challenge, absolutely know that your soul is big enough to carry it and you're going to pop out that other side. Bigger and sing in a song that is your truth, nobody else's. Because you and, you and spirit, that's all you've got to atone with, you and spirit. Spirit, what do I need to do today to sing my best song? And spirit might say, you got to go make it right with this person. You got to swallow your pride and you got to do this with this person. You got you to gotta allow yourself to be seen. You got to allow yourself to shine. You got to allow yourself to sing. This is what you got to do. And your spirit will show you and guide you so that you atone with you and spirit. And if that means apologizing and making it right with somebody else, then you know that you've cleared your karma. That's what the stories are all about. So the stories that we tell with one another are helping us become the whole song of all that we are. Our individual unique perfection of our unique song with source, the atonement with source, is we are tuning our vessel to higher light so that we can sing grander songs. We can sing the song that we are meant to sing and carry greater light for a greater vibrational song. Our universe is made up of a collective song of harmonics and those harmonics are light coded. Those light codes are held within the cells and the DNA that help us ascend, that help us carry greater evolutionary programs of light potentiation from becoming and releasing the lower mind, which is mostly ego-driven, limited in boxes, to allow us to become the highest potentiation of who we are as limitless eternal light beings that carry wisdom from an infinite number of universes. And we need that song, each and every one of us, to be that unique, direct, organic, divine perfection of each of us of who we are as spirit. And so part of my memory this morning was, I'm, I'm going back and forth and up, but all of these are stories that are fitting into the song. Um, that as I was sitting there remembering some of these experiences, my, my heart chakra had shut down to the perfection of who I was, to come forward in the greatness of who I am and just explore me, express me in my greatness and my shininess. Um, because part of it was understanding, trying to understand why I had attracted so many, so many people that have deceived me through the years and withheld from me for so many years um, throughout my whole life. Um, in, in all aspects of my life. And my teams had said, because, um, um, because you are withholding from yourself the greatness of who you are. And you shut down when someone did not accept you at the earliest of ages because they didn't know how to accept you because it was so different from everybody else. And they did what they did because they just didn't want you to feel the harm of you know, how, how dense you know, lack of acceptance and separation is in our social systems. And we all experience it. There's not one person on this earth that has not experienced the pain of not being accepted and not belonging. That's what this planet is all about. This is the game of the planet. It's a song. It's a story through which, through these stories, we unveil the perfection of who we are. And we come forward and say that I, I, I closed myself down because of somebody's limited version story that says I, I can't, nourish you and I can't I don't know what to do with you because of your uniqueness and your spiritual genius and I, I'm, I'm going to I'm going to ask that you conform to something on how everybody else is and every time that I was 
and that I was um, shut down every time I would talk with spirit, any time that I would dance with the heavens. Um, and I say that literally because that's what I feel and see. That's, that's the vibrations I'm able to carry. Those are my gifts. I have the gifts of the Christ consciousness to link with all that is Christ consciousness. Those are my fields. My fields activate Christ consciousness. That's why it's important that I shine my brightest because the Christ consciousness is activated through everyone and all things that are Christ consciousness, our grids, our planet, the, the, the nature, the elementals, it's all. Based on the unique threading of my DNA, I have greater access to those Christ consciousness like the fairies and the elementals. And the, the celestial um, brotherhoods and sisterhoods of light, the councils of light and all the beings that I thread with and why I get the imprints on my arms and my body that I do because I have that transparency of the Christ. And if I'm not allowed that transparency by the withholding and the, the lies and the deceit throughout my lifetime on those that I've attracted, because those were the reflections of my own self-defeat of not allowing myself to be my shiniest, because when I did, it was not accepted. It was rejected grandly and greatly and with great harm to my spirit. And why we go back to Self-truth. Your self-truth is your song with source, and it needs to be sung. And anytime you're in a story that you've attracted, someone that does not accept you for who you are, or you will see yourself falling into another um, insertion story to appease others, to be small for others, to, to hide for others, or to, to, um, to make it easy for others. Whatever it is that you do are those small ways that we conform in smallness. And so to be aware of it, and it's in every, it's everywhere. <laughs> we all do it. It's everywhere. <laughs> you know, there's no right or wrong. It's just that these are the ways that we release conformity in every way, subjugation in every way. Um, and so part of that for me was remembering the pain that I had experienced of, of having the, the beauty and the originality of my greatness with source and spirit and to have it. Thank you, spirit. Thank you, spirit. <laughs> There's, they're shining my light chakra. Thank you, because it's my voice of spirit. I'm so blessed. Thank you, spirit. The, um, the beauty of who I am to speak my truth with spirit and to sing my truth with spirit. I am the song of God. I am the song of spirit and creation. And I am a part creator of new timelines and new experiences of light. To do it in my greatness and to do, release all those veils that held me in such conformity and why that early, early wound allowed me to attract others that were not truthful. Because there was a version of me being shut out and being um, less than in the eyes of others when I was shining in my truth and they did not accept me. You know, the ones that we see um, that, that care for us the most, those are the ones we give our power away to say, well, if, if you don't accept me, then how am I to be accepted in life? Thank you, spirit. I love you. So we end up telling ourselves smaller vibrational stories. And that's where the, the greater song of God is. It's in our own unique story, our own originality of who God, source, creator, spirit made us to be. That we each have a song that we're meant to pulsate. <laughs> we're meant to pulsate. Thank you, spirit. I love you. And we're meant to come forward and we're meant to express our truth in the most beautiful, organic, um, authentic way and manner. And to live in that greatness all the time. To live in that whimsical, fairy-like, fanciful experience of each and every one of us being that for ourselves first and releasing those soul wounds that held us back. And they're very painful at times because those are the gifts that we come with to heal our world. So if we hold back on those gifts just to appease others so that they feel safer in their limited version of the reality, then they don't have the permission that they need to live in a more authentic truth for themselves. So you coming forward and saying, I'm not going to live in this version of story anymore because it's a limited version and I don't want to be that. I want to be the grandness of who I am. I've come to be great and I will. I've come to be profound and I've come to sing my great song because I'm blessed. And that's what my necklace says. It says, I'm blessed. That's why it's shining so bright. Thank you, spirit. <laughs> and it's really profound. And I, I found out you know, that withholding, you know, why am I attracting people that withhold? Because it was a direct relation on how I withheld myself from myself, the truth of myself from myself. Because when I was younger in the most formidable ages to express my creative joy and for those developmental stages of being who I was, and there's not a child on this planet that doesn't go through that. <laughs> I went through it based on the high vibrational Christic elements that I had. And it was, it was damaging. 
because it affected the gifts that I have to come forward and heal people. So now I'm reversing that by healing it, by claiming and owning it, that I've withheld my, my greatness so that others could feel comfortable in their own distortions of the truth, in their own illusions of smallness. And that's okay, that's their story, but I can release myself from their story now. I can insert myself into a bigger story and level up with source and say I'm worthy of a greater song now. I want a greater song. I want to live in the light. I want to live in my light and I want to be big and I want to be shiny because I can, because I will. <laughs> and you release yourself from those stories that are just, it's not my story. It was a part of who I was and I'm ready to let it go now. So now I'm onto a bigger story. I want to change my note. So I want it to be high and vibrating in my own greatness. And I get to accept who I am because I am, I am someone really, really special. And so are you. And it has nothing to do with the brashness and being brazen with the ego because there's a vibrational difference there. When you own yourself because of the soul wounds that kept you from it, there's a difference. That's authenticity. That's a vibration of truth. It's not like, you know, yeah, I'm a spiritual genius. You know, if there's a difference. Because when you speak and live from the heart of being your soul's perfection, your song with source, that's just you and source. That's your atoma with source. And spirit knows the alchemy you've done. Spirit knows, you know, spirit knows the, the pages and the books that you go through to understand your greatness. Spirit knows the work that you put in. That's all that's needed. It's just you and source. Source knows everything. There's nothing hidden from source. Every thought source knows. Spirit's on top of everything. Spirit's involved in everything. That's why it's, it's, it's futile. It's futile to think that any one person can control any one person's destiny or outcome. Spirit's on top of it, everything. Spirit has a plan for each and every divine perfect song on this planet. Every person has a song and unique and it is meant to be sung. And there's not one person that control the outcome of another. It will just result in a whole lot of karma that's not necessary and why lies and deceit and withholding and all the stuff that we think we have to do to be accepted to to kind of control an outcome that is a smaller version of what the outcome can really be that's truth <laughs> when you let god live through you it's a far greater truth than you ever know might not, might not be the truthful story that you think you want it is going to be a hundred times better might not have the same characters, might not have the same people, but it's going to be a hundred times better. Source knows greatness. So why limit yourself on unrealistic truths that aren't valid anymore? Because that reality is broken up. It's done. It's gone. Everything's got to align with truth, light, love, and truth. That's how the soul evolves through light, through love of yourself, through the forgiveness and compassion of all others, and through your truth. What is your truth? What's your truthful song? What's your truthful song with source? How great are you? And sing it. Be it. Be the truthful song of who you are. You simply must have the light. <laughs> Be that truthful song of who you are. And just let go of anybody that tries to make you feel small and just say, that's a story I'm not willing to live right now because I've realized who I am and I've held back myself from being small because it's just been... So challenging to see so many people feel so confused about being special and shiny. What's wrong with it? What's wrong with being special and shiny? Why do we always have to be so boring and conformed? Where's the joy in that? I'm asking you, where's the joy in that? <laughs> be shiny. That's why you're here. You're here to be. Um, eclectic and whimsical and weird and unique and original. I'm the warrior of originality. I'm the warrior of truth. Be thy truth. Don't hold yourself back. What is your story? Sing, dear one, sing. Look at your life and every day and say, why, what, what's the underlying vibration? And we talked about stories the other day, and I wanted to get back to this because this is something that I, that I probably mentioned, but I didn't give it the profundity that it required. What we're saying as far as, as the vibrational songs, and we're going to return it to this because when I received these woundings of my soul about withholding, me withholding myself, we with, me withholding the greatness of who I am, was in the reflection of those not being comfortable with my greatness. 
and then experiencing it throughout my whole life. When you look at the underlying vibration of why you attract what you do, you will see what your soul's perfection is, the greatness of who you are. Don't withhold from it anywhere. Be it. Be your greatness. These underlying vibrational stories is the exact, make no mistake about it, and I say this with great pause and with great excitement. These are the vibrations of the children's collective. The children are the vibrational undertone, vibrational wave and song of the human story. A very sacred song, a very sacred beginning, a very sacred experience, a very sacred, sacred, sacred song. So when you reflect upon the underlying tones of your experiences and where you're coming from and what you want to experience and what you want to do, how you've been conformed, how you've held yourself back, how you've withheld yourself and attracted every other person that withholds in whatever way they withhold, whether it's they withhold love, they withhold, um, you know, um, truth and, and, um, and their own special creative experience, whatever it is that they withhold or, or whatever your stories are then that's the direct reflection of what you're withholding from yourself and the greatness of who you are within yourself. So use that as your new story to, to align with a higher light sound because those sounds are what the children need to, to be their highest evolution. See what we're saying? This is not only sacred in its metaphor, but it's sacred in literal aspects. It's all sound. When you vibrate in your highest song of being the eclectic, the eclectic whimsical version of you and singing and dancing with the Christ in the heavens that we do. And I do that. I dance with the heavens. I can feel them. I see them. I sense them. I'm, I'm sending light codes. I'm doing so much when I sing and dance with the heavens. And it is literal. It's not just something I say that's airy-fairy. It's a literal experience of light. And it's a literal experience of fun and joy and, and why we're born here. It's how we create. These experiences not understood on this realm yet. They will be, but it's at this point they're not understood. It is the vibration and the undertone of what the children need to wake up and evolve our planet. The children are the evolutionary song of our planet. And we are proud to be the unveilers of this. We are the proud ones to say, no more holding back, no more lying to ourselves, no more small little lives. We're going to wake up and we're going to live big lives because we can. How can we transmute everything and all things in our reality? Break down those walls. They're not there. It's an illusion. It's a story you keep telling yourself. You are accepted. You do belong. You are great. What is your song of source? When you live this song, the vibration of you, it is felt throughout creation. You are known by thy name. You are known by thy name. Thy name is the vibration you carry with source. Thy name is the song that you are with source. That's a truth, dear lighted ones. That's just not a fancy notion. That is a vibrational truth. You are a vibration. When you are hiding your vibration, when you are veiling your vibration, when you are covering up your vibration to make other people feel comfortable because they're okay living small, then you are veiling your perfection of song. And that is called fear and conformity and subjugation. Let's break it up. It's okay if you do. Everybody's doing it. It's okay. Everybody's doing it. But now it's time to say and choose for yourself. What's my song? I want to be big. I'm going big. Mama wants a big life and mama going to have a big life and all else step aside. Step aside. I want a big life. No more lies. No more withholding. Done. It's over because I want a big life. I'm no longer going to withhold from myself. I will be my perfection in all moments and I in my perfection will attract those of that highest perfection. And that's how we create. That's how we evolve. You do not evolve by living small. You do not evolve by fitting into other stories of you. So in all days, return to you. Do that self-care, return to you. What is my story? What is my truth? Who am I in the song of source? Who am I in the song of creation? How may I be my greatest song? I will come forward and I will sing. And if it makes others uncomfortable, so be it. Because it makes them go back and say, well, what's my song? Some will like it, some won't. Some want to keep playing small. That's okay. And we say small in that when you veil yourself, when you conform yourself, when you make yourself small through conformity to say, I can't go outside the box. I can't live big. I can't dance down the street. Yes, you can. Where's the rule that says you can't? That is living small. You're making yourself small so that all others fit in into the stories that they've conformed into their lives. And that's okay. There's no right or wrong. But when you are ready to step up and be a new version of you, when you are ready to say, I am tired of attracting and manifesting the same less than and lack, 
I will manifest a big life because I have a song with source and I will sing it. I will be the song of my choosing. And this in and of itself, dear lighted ones, and we say again with great pause, is the evolution of our planet. Make no mistake, no mistake, no mistake about that is a miracle. Taking our planet from one vibrational grid to another, through song, through originality, through authenticity, because that's who we are as creative beings of source. That is our human potentiation. Make no mistake about it. It simply is. If you do not have joy in your heart to live it and express it freely, you will not come up with any invention that this planet needs. You must live through the heart in joy of the excitement of being you. Sing your song through the excitement of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit of who we are as Metatronic Light. The Holy Spirit of who we are as beings from all over the universe. The spirit of who we are is the perfection of our song. As thy name is the song, is of source, is that I am the song of source, I am. Uh, and I am a spiritual genius and all the reasons why I've come here. And I say that with great, great humility because I've walked those steps 10 times over and I'm ready to shine. I'm ready to shine. I'm not going to play small anymore because I want big songs. It's not about anything to do with getting anything. That's ego. I'm past that. I want to sing my song because I just want to sing. And that's when you know you're real. It's up to each person to sort that out and discover it. It's up to each person to say, whose lies have I been living with? <laughs> what stories have I been telling myself? What have I been withholding from myself? What have I been lying about that it's so easy for me to fit in with other people's stories? What is my story? And who am I with source within? Because the spirits will support you and everything will be laid before you. When you are in your truth, everything will be laid before you. Your gifts, your career, your vocation, your path, your friends, your abundance, it will be laid before you. There is no need to do anything else than to be you. It's so simple. There's no reason to create covert games or, or, or energy diversions. There's no need to. When you live in your authentic creative truth, everything is laid before you. Everything. So live in thy truth. What is thy song? How are you here in your originality? And how can you become the story of who you are? You write your story. You become that higher note. You call in that light vibration. You call in the miracle of who you are with source. You sing the vibration of who you are and all will be known. You are a song, a song, a beautiful, perfect song, and you're meant to sing who you are. That is evolution. Sing every day, sing. Dance, dance every day, dance. And be the light of who you are, for you are that song that the children need in the grids and the harmonics, for they are the song. And how blessed are we? How blessed are we? How blessed are we to be the catalyst of our children? How blessed are we? How blessed are we to say, children, we're so sorry that we've kept you so conformed, that we've talked you out of your originality. How blessed are we to say, we're so sorry we've kept your originality so short and tiny, for you're profound. I'm going to break all the rules of these ideas of thought that you can only create in this way because that's how we've always done it. No, you break the box and you create in the ways that you need to because you're profound. That's why you came here. You're meant to be left-handed. You're meant to have green eyes, one blue and one black. You're meant to be exactly who you are, exactly how God made you, exactly what the DNA you came with in, and it will be laid before you. All that you need, all that you desire. Source wants you to sing. Source wants you to be you. Source wants you to explore your own sexuality. If that's your soul's theme, then explore it. That's why you're here. You are here to liberate that and free that for others. To say, I am accepting of myself. I fully accept who I am. I don't need others' versions of stories to accept myself. I won't accept others' stories of me. I create the story for me. I sing the story of me. And that's all I need. Source's truth with me is all I need. I don't need others' smaller versions of truth. I don't need them. I don't need them. My truth is my truth and I will sing it. That's who I am. I don't need others' truths. Their truth is right for them. And I will live by the insertion of my truth. My truth, my story. That's how we all move forward in our own evolution. Four, four, four. <laughs> and bring it home in your own unique way. Sing, create, be big, be bold, be grand, be the originality of your own song. That's why you're here. 
You are here to be uniquely, divinely you. Uniquely, authentically you. And it's a vibration that just runs through all cells. And everybody can tell. Everybody can tell when you say something that is your divine sacred truth. This is my name. As my name is, I am that is source. You speak the sacred tongue. The sacred tongue is it living in all of your cells. That is the language of light. That is known throughout the universe, dear lighter ones. Make no mistake about that. That's why your vibration is known throughout creation. One of the first things they taught me when I awoke, your vibration is known. And I was perplexed. I said, what do you mean? I don't, I don't, who are you? <laughs> you came here, girl, with a big life. You've just been shut down. You've been living by other people's truths. Are you ready to be big? Are you ready to be the person that you've come to be? To be the spirit that you've come to be and harmonize it all? Are you ready? And I don't understand what you mean, but it's just me. I'm just here by myself. Like, no. Get up. You're here to create some grid. You're here to create some light. Don't be small. Not what anybody tells you and tries to hide from you or lie to you and try and fit into other small stories. You're meant to be big and you will be big. Nothing will hold you back from that. And when you clear those smaller version stories of you and you clear those, those wounds that kept you small and feeling fear, when you clear those stories of friction, when you clear those stories of others' um, wants and needs of you and illusions of you and delusions of you, when you clear those stories away and make it right with you because you are the only one that matters in your story, you and God, you and swords, you and spirit to say, I've cleared those stories now, I've healed those wounds. I don't have to feel fear anymore. I don't give a crap what other people say because I know who I am. I've atoned myself with source on every moment. Bring it to me, bring it to me, bring it to me. And I'm on my knees praying. And I'm on my knees in my own forgiveness. Because I want to level up with source and it's my story and it's my song. That's how you alchemize, dear lady ones. That's how you alchemize. You got to need it and want it for you. Nobody else. You can't do anything for anyone else. You can't. You can't fit yourself into somebody else's story. You can't fit yourself into, you want somebody else to fit into your story. You have to alchemize you for you. That's it. And you will have laid before you the exact people and the meaning and the vocation and the job and the career and the goals and the gifts. It will all be laid before you. You don't have to force anybody into your story. You don't have to force yourself into anybody else's story. Just sing. Sing and be your truth. Be your truth. Be you. So simple. So simple. And when others try to fit you in others' smaller stories, that's their soul's wounds to say, you must fit with me because I don't know if I fit with other people. So I'm going to try and make you fit with me. No, I don't want to play that song anymore. That song does not fit with me. I've got a different song. And it goes like this. <laughs> you start breaking out and dance. Because you can. Again, it's never us and them. It's all harmonic songs working with one another, showing each other our own notes, our own songs, our own stories. That's a beautiful song. That's really great. But I'm going to go this way and be my song now. We'll still be a part of the same song, just on a different harmonic level. And my higher vibrational song pulls all other vibrational songs to say, hey, you can do it too. You don't have to worry about the fear. You don't have to worry about not being accepted. If people aren't going to accept you, then you're not meant to be with them. You want to be with people that absolutely accept you for who you are inside and out. Inside and out. Why do you want to be with people that don't want to accept you unless you're fitting with their st story? That's a really small version of you. Why would you want that? That's what we've done to our children. We've placed them in such limiting systems of condition and conformity that we have conformed creativity out of them. Their original creativity has been conformed out of them from all the little boxes that we've placed on them. The perfection of them is still there and we must inspire and ignite it once again. Through each and every one of us healing our own stories of limitation. How can we show our children that are to be the next masters if we are not living masterfully within ourselves? If our children are walking around as the next masters, how can they be the next masters if we are not showing them? Release conformity, you are fully accepted. And if others move away and shift away, it's because they're not your vibration. They're not meant to be. Understand the law of vibration. That's okay. You're going to find people that will match with you. Don't lose yourself because you're letting go of people that don't necessarily match vibrationally. It's a perfect song within creation. Source knows what Source is doing. They will find new matches and they'll be absolutely happy. Therefore, all will be laid before them. 
and you will find new matches absolutely being laid before them. It's a perfect vibrational experience. You cannot control any part of it. You can't. You're not meant to. It's the song of who you are with source. That's all that's required. The song of who you are with source is all that's required. And this is the inspiration of our new age. This is the inspiration of 5D people. This is it. Inspire, authenticity, originality, singing thy song for thyself with source. And everything will be taken care of. That is the song of originality. And each of us are here to sing it. Thy song, thy vibration is known throughout creation. That's how the angels find you, is your song, your song, your song, your song, your song. Your song. You are known by creation when you sing. When you sing, the heavens light up. When I start singing and I start praying, the heavens and the whole, the, the, the whole neighborhood is filled with light ships. You're known. When you light yourself up within and say, this is who I am, no longer going to play small. I don't care about the lies. I've healed them. Done because I accept myself now and I'm big and I'm shiny and I'm okay with people that just float away <laughs> because I know who I am meant to be with and I understand the perfection of God. I understand we're all one. All timelines, we're all one. All vibrations, we're all one. There is no separation. There's no loss. I understand the law of one and I understand it. Now I want to sing about it. So be the vibration of your uniqueness. Be it. Be it. Be. That's alchemy. Alchemy is the being. That's the divine feminine. Be, be the song. You're so loved. Be the song. Be the song for you. Attract what you need to attract for you in being thy song. Be thy song for you. And let everybody else sort themselves out. Because you're not here to make it easy for them. You're not here to make it right for them. You're not here to, to, to heal their karma for them. Their karma is in them making it right with source and all the things that they need to do to atone with them with source and learn their soul's lessons. It's how we grow. It's always through love and compassion. Always, 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 always. Love yourself enough to know what your song is. Love yourself enough to express it and be it. Love yourself enough to say sorry when it's meant to say sorry. Love yourself enough to atone when you need to atone. Because it's you. Your soul cannot ascend. Your soul cannot grow if you don't allow yourself the compassion and the love to say and know when you're, when you're sorry, to know when you need to fix things, to know when you need to step up, when you really need to step up and be okay with people not being okay with it. That's okay. They'll get over it. They'll sort it out. That's part of their soul's lesson. They got to sort out why they're not okay with people moving on. They got to sort out why they're not okay with people living their dreams because they're not living their dreams. It just reflects to them, well, maybe I should start living my dream eventually they get it and they say, wow, I'm so glad that you started to live your dreams because now I'm living mine. And let me cheer you on. Let me cheer you on now. I'm going to cheer you on now because I get it. Because the soul gets it, not the ego. When you start living as a soul, you get it all. You get all those little points in between. And then you wake up and say, okay, I get it. Because I want to live as a soul and I want to level up and be with God as a soul. I want to level up and be the creator that I am on this planet. And I'm meant to be big. I'm not going to hide. I'm not going to be small. And I will shine. And those that are meant to shine with me, those that I'm meant to attract, those that are meant to be my clients, those that I'm meant to co-create with on a global level, I'm attracting those ones because those are the ones I'm attracting now. And I'm going to take my attention away from all of those energies that were the smaller version lies. They didn't accept me and want me anyways. So just new story. I want to play up here with those people that really want my services, that really want my vibration, that really want me to sing. That's where my energy is going now. They're vibrational laws. And all the vibrations in between will sort themselves out, the shades of gray. And when you find yourself in those friction stories, what's the underlying current? For me, it was withholding. The withholding of love, the withholding of truth, the withholding of myself from myself. And that was learned way early. Way early, when I was between three and five. Because that's when I was really open to spirit. And when I started using my voice with spirit, and people were not understanding and afraid of what I was who I was because they didn't understand they were in their own versions of illusion and so those were deep soul wounds that I had attracted people all throughout my life that were other versions of people not accepting me making me feel less than in lack of or not accepting and trying to squash and you know disprove me for being me <laughs> that's okay that's your story disprove me all you want <laughs> I know who I am a source you go create in your way and I'll create in my way <laughs> It's not my story. It's yours. I don't have to play in it. 
I don't have to play in your story. I'll be my story and you be your story. And I start singing over here. <laughs> so be okay with be okay with the representations of your reflections and accepting all of it. I accept that part of myself from withholding my greatness because I was even afraid of my greatness. If other people were reacting that way about my greatness, how was I going to accept it? Right? When you're taught from the earliest of ages, you know, when people look at you like that, I mean, how is a child supposed to feel accepted and loved? They feel absolute rejection. Is that not how it's, it's taught in certain dogmas? You're not accepted. You don't belong. How is that okay for a spirit? Is that, is that in alignment with spirit? To allow the utter creativity and allowance of who we are? And in those experiences, it warps the spirit. The spirit, the spirit gets shut down. And then meta, um, mental and physical and emotional imbalances occur. Through which the person even becomes more not accepted. It's just a, it's just a spiral of, of disharmony in every way. Medical, mental everything so we gotta we gotta really question ourselves really so is that what we want for ourselves is that an alignment of authentic empowerment is that an alignment of allowing the spirit to be spirit and again it's part of our human story we can't damn it we can't protest about it all we can do is accept it and honor it and love it as a part of our story it's all a part of our story it's all one don't protest it Stand up and be a version of it in a higher form. Say, that was great. It's a part of my story now. I accept it. I honor it. If you're not accepting it, protesting means you don't accept it. Accept it. It's a part of our human story. Create something better. Create something better for you. Then you'll have all of those people that'll be with you in that creation. Because it's all going to be perfect. All of these systems are going to rise to higher vibrations. Don't protest them. Protest them. Say, no, don't accept it. No, no, no. That's wrong. Well, it's all right. It's all right. But how we bring it to a higher version of right? How about we bring it to a higher version of truth that aligns with all beings being accepted, all being absolutely perfect in their authenticity, all being accepted in their sexuality, all being accepted for the skin color, all being accepted for the packages of divine male and feminine, because we each can't get here without the each. Do you see what I'm saying? Every male that has been born has been born through a divine feminine. We're one. Don't protest it. Accept it. Love it. Honor it. It's you. Every person on this planet is you. The reflections you see is the vibration of you. What do you see? Do you see limitations? Do you see holding back? What is it that you see? And go to the root of it. Suss it out. Suss that story, that friction story out. Because within it is your perfection, that divine perfection that we talk about all the time, the divine relationship of you and source. What mother and father energy do you need to give you to heal thyself? You're perfectly accepted in all that you are. You're always accepted. God never says, I don't accept you. Source will always accept you unconditionally in every moment. How you go through alchemy, how you alchemize the density is by honoring it and accepting it and saying, this is a part of my story. Holy cow, and how can I change it and make it better for me? Because you serve thyself first. And then in you serving thyself, singing thy song, all is served. As my name is, as my song is, as I am that as source. All that is the song of source. In that authenticity, it is felt through a creation. The earth is forever changed, make no mistake. Earth is forever changed. The children need this. The children need a higher vibration of, of truth. Not falsities of limitation. If they have an idea that goes far outside the box on creativity, inspire them and cheer them on cheer them on if they start speaking sacred tongue in thy house inspire it and cheer them on there are so many masters walking among us how shall we limit them in this dear lighted ones and are we doing them justice by living in such small representations of who we are meant to be it's all perfect it's all true something to muse <laughs> something to ponder dear ones Something to Paul love. And in that, dear lighted ones, I'm going to sing. <laughs> I'm going to get up. I'm going to sing and dance. We're meant to have fun. Let's have a little bit of fun. We are here to be the joy and the blessedness of who we are. We just are. Support one another in our own unique songs. Support it. Support it. 
It's who we are showing ourselves to be to one another so that we get to the bottom of why we think we have to do something when it's not really. It's just the song of who we're all becoming, greater knowingness of who we are. You stay in a, in a version and in a world of only knowing a part of yourself, only getting a little bit dressed, or do you wanna know it all? It's okay, every step of the way, it's okay. This is just a story of my personal experience and how I've felt it throughout my, my entire life and all the minutia I've had to go through to full and, fully love and accept myself as being great. And to say that from such a soulful experience so that I'm really rich in spirit. Because when you feel rich in spirit, nothing else matters. Everything else can fall away when you're rich in spirit. Nothing else matters. Because you know, no matter what, no matter what, no matter what, you are living a good life. You're rich in spirit, you're living a good life. That's all you need. And how may we emulate this to our children? When you are rich in spirit, you are beautiful. I love you, dear lighted ones. Our donation box is down below and we hope that you've enjoyed our beautiful ascension experience on living authentically and being the story of who you are. And each of our stories allow humanity to heal. So come forward in your authenticity and be gentle and loving to all of our human systems because again, it's still a part of our story. It's never gonna go away. It's who we are. All of our most challenging experiences is a part of our story. And so let's give gentleness and kindness and compassion to all that we have been through all timelines and honor it in the heart of who we are because each of us have the strength and the light now to bring it up to a higher vibration of loving authenticity and to truly sing the songs of who we are in a beautiful, beautiful new way to be each the majesties of our own heavens. And we love you, dear lighted ones, and we thank you and we, um, we bless you with the highest holy light of the highest heavens. Thank you, Holy Mother, Father, and the creators of all that is. Thank you, dear lighted ones. We love you. Bye, we rainbow you. Of course and always.